of like what what the faux clip-on earrings, the faux pearl is trying to look like because these are actually the genuine pearls. So isn't that fun? I was pretty excited about that. All right, next, oh, look at these. They have sparkling marcasites up the stem, graduated sparkling marcasites. These you can just tell are some kind of verme, like the gold tone um, is like washing away a little bit, but not washing away where it's like copper underneath. It's washing away where it's like a little bit, a little, um, a little bit silver underneath. So if we look up close, there is writing in there. I see in there. I might have to read it for you. Let me just take a peek. It says Sterling, Germany, and then there's like a little mark. Um there but yay for hump but that is just so pretty are you guys like loving this oh all this beautiful glass and art i love it okay hey you guys welcome back to my channel my name is rachel aka lily works and i have a thrift haul for you guys for reselling so i have jewelry some hard goods some shoes and yeah i went out shopping today uh, today's Friday. My husband had off work, so I went thrifting today. And so this is this might be like a two-part video. It's a lot of stuff. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and you want to join this reselling community. And let's get into this haul. So I went to two different stores. I went to Salvation Army and Value Village um, near my house, kind of. Um, so I, some things are really, really um, priced well. So yeah, let's just get into it. You guys can already see that I got a lot of different things and then um, jewelry. So maybe let's do some jewelry first since most of you guys from um, watching my channel are jewelry resellers and then we can get into like hard goods and stuff so yeah so jewelry which I didn't know um, and this is just from one one store I got jewelry from both stores so jewelry which I didn't know was half off so I'm like saying yes to a lot of the things when I get up to the register he was like, oh, the only things that are not um, half off today are the shoes. Is that okay? And I was like, oh, yes, that is fine. <laughs> that is fine with me. Um, so, yeah. So these are the jewelry pieces that I got from Value Village. Um, Goodwill's by me do not do jewelry jars. They do not have jewelry for sale or anything like that. And let me just show you. I also paid... $15 for this bag, which uh, I guess was half off. So there was like several bags there. So I might do like a live with you guys and un unbag this. I mean, some of them look like not good at all, but I know that those are Avon right there. Um, just looking through this, I see a brooch right there. And yeah, so some things that it looks like they just didn't sell because they're still on the cards. But, you know, $7.50. Thought that would be fun to go through with you guys. So, let's just get right into it. Okay, ooh. Did we miss one? Yes, we did. Okay, so look at how pretty these are. Okay. And I'm sorry for my nails. I've been sorting jewelry and they are probably going to start flaking um, I just had to put another layer on real quick before I started recording. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long these last. But very beautiful screwbacks. I love screwbacks. They're usually like 30s, 40s, 50s for the screwback earring. So very vintage. And these are a lovely like flower. They are marked on the back. Coral, if you guys can see that. 
little coral mark right there. And these are an excellent, excellent shape. So I only paid $1.50 for these. So that is a definite score right there. All right, let's look at these. So I thought these were earrings at first and they're actually not. They're scatter pins. So let's take one off. So it looks like I paid $1.50 for these scatter pins. So um, I do love copper MCM jewelry. A lot of the copper um, vintage jewelry could either be Southwestern, like um, Bell Trading, or Renoir Matisse is not really Southwestern, but um, it's more like modernist. And then there's also um, Wheeler something something. <laughs> You guys know, but it looks like these scatter pins might have been connected um, by a chain possibly at one time to possibly um, connect across uh, like a sweater or a cardigan or maybe just look like a chain style, one higher, one lower on a lapel, something like that. But I love coming across good vintage jewelry, copper um, jewelry. So I got that one. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to save those because I don't really know what these are. So let's get into these. So let me just show you. These are $2.50 half off. Okay. It looks like someone took something because, because these are heavy, like heavy for earrings and they have, I don't know if this is faux opal, I can't really tell. Um, it's a cabochon and it doesn't have like a foil on the back to make it look like a, an opal. Um, the, the iridescence or the light uh, refraction is actually coming from inside. So it could be like a faux opal glass or something like that. I'll have to research this more. But it looks like they took something and then soldered on an earring back onto this, like a post. Or what they could have done is maybe these were clip-on earrings at one point and they wanted to make them post earrings. So yeah, it's like a matte gold. Um, kind of giving me Art Deco vibes right here. And I love that light blue opal look with the matte gold. It is like, like stunning, stunning looking earrings. So it looks like they are worn in a diamond shape so pretty okay we have these okay so you might be wondering why i picked these up um and th because they're not marked at all but i'm fairly certain without you know rubbing them on my teeth or anything like that that these are dyed genuine pearls and prong set crystals so these are some of the highest quality cluster clip-ons that I've seen and now it's leather backed. It looks like these were all like hand sewn on. So isn't that fun? It's like a royal, dark royal blue color um, with the slightest bit of purple to them and they are so pretty. So I would say these are like artisan or handmade, um, genuine pearl. And yeah, so I don't know, maybe they use sterling elements here because um, these are all natural elements. But that, yeah, this is kind of like what what the faux clip-on earrings, the faux pearl is trying to look like because these are actually the genuine pearls. So isn't that fun? I was pretty excited about that. Okay, next we have these. So the man behind the counter, because all of this was behind the counter and I had to request each piece, was like having a hard time, like I think with me because I was like that, 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 that. And then, you know, most of the things I don't end up choosing. So then he has to put them all back and he was doing a lot. He was doing inventory, running the register and trying to help me at the same time. So Kudos to him, but yeah, I, I had to keep waiting for a really long time for other things to get done. So um, I'm very lucky for the things that I did end up getting. So these kind of spoke to me because of the enamel and they looked a little bit higher quality. It has like a chain look, 
kind of like a sunset almost, right? So a big chain and then a smaller chain, dark navy blue enamel. And what's great is that these are marked around the stem, the post, Monet. So these are some Monet stud, maybe 1980s, fun, chic um, stud earrings. Okay, next we have these. Oh, look at these. These are also marked right there. Coro. These are some big, like, puffy, hollow knots. So these were $3, so $1.50 for these. Yes. And now keep in mind, all of these things I did not know were half off. So I was picking these things thinking that I was paying the price that was on the card. Because when I went in, it said that half off was the yellow tag and none of the jewelry had a yellow tag. So I was like, okay. Um, and then he told me after the fact. So yes, yeah, a hollow, like lover's knot type thing. Well, I guess this isn't te technically a lover's knot. I believe it's two, two different um, like strands knotted together. But knots and jewelry often symbolize love. These are like an open knot coral. And these are in really excellent, like new condition for coral because you know, some coral can be a hot mess. <laughs> so that was really nice. All right, let's take these. Can you guys guess? Just take a guess of what you guys think that that these might be. Just based off of the style, they are clip-ons. It kind of looks like a faux moon glow. Mm glass cabochon and I really love the pink and the gold of course and then let's take a peek all right we see no name but we do see the scrolling print on the back which means these are 1928 brand jewelry now I had someone reach out to me on Mercari on one of my jewelry pieces and they said how do you know that this is from 1928 <laughs> And I was like, well, it's the 1928 brand, not actually from the year 1928. So these are vintage clip-ons. So it is still a vintage um, piece. Love. So I paid, what, $175 for those. All right. Next. Oh, look at these. They have sparkling marcasites up the stem. Graduated sparkling marcasites. These you can just tell are some kind of verme. Like the gold tone um, is like washing away a little bit, but not washing away where it's like copper underneath. It's washing away where it's like a little bit, a little, um, a little bit silver underneath. So if we look up close, there is writing in there. I see in there. I might have to read it for you. Let me just take a peek. It says Sterling, Germany, and then there's like a little mark um, there. But yay, for how much did I spend? $250, so $125 for these Sterling, Germany, filigree, marcasite, loveliness. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to list these for at least $30 at least. So that is an excellent score. Yay! Okay, next I got these because I thought they were really cute. So this kind of metal is called a hammered metal and you can start playing with other words like when you see a hammered metal you can say um, brutalist, primitive, I'm not sure if these are actually brutalist because they like have hearts. Brutalist is a little bit more masculine um, but, uh, definitely fun with the texture. So textured, hammered, gold tone, not marked, which is actually surprising, but I thought these were really interesting for a clip on. So I got these and then of course thermoset and these are purple. So do you guys see the moon glow? Yes, and aren't they fun with these little tiny baby ones? Oh, they kind of look like cat footprints. <laughs> Don't they look like cat footprints, little toes? 
Um, but yes, there's definitely a collector's market for thermoset, vintage thermoset jewelry. Whereas thermoset is that moon glow lucite look where it is made out of plastic. It's not actually glass or moon glow or moonstone or anything like that. Um, I don't think these are marked. No. So they're not like really high quality or anything. The thing that makes these obviously is that thermoset. So that would be the keyword to use for these. These were two dollars and so like a buck. A dollar for those purple. Yay. All right. Look at, okay. These, these just feel special. Okay. These are clip-ons, but look at how interesting this is. I haven't seen a clip-on like this. It's kind of like a little cup in the back. And I liked these because these are purple glass and they are bezel set so you can see all the way through. And they kind of have that handmade look to it. Um, I don't think they are like sterling or anything. It looks like there's some soldering happening here. So I'm really curious. They are heavier than a lot of clip-on earrings. So do we think that someone made these after the fact or something? I don't know. Hmm, but they're faceted in the back and they're smooth on the front. So these are interesting. They kind of, they're like giving me either Germany or Austria like vibes just from the clip on part. I don't know. I have my Presidium here. We can see if it is amethyst. It's most likely just a purple glass. But we can see what's going on here. Okay, so it's just going up to glass. If it was amethyst, it would go to this like bottom dark line right there. So I don't know. I'm going to have to research these more, but this is so interesting. Okay. You guys might be able to see these. Of course, it's the... Um, abalone shell clip-ons right here. I don't think they're marked or anything on the back. No. But if you guys know the abalone shell um, is becoming more scarce in jewelry. Um, so yeah. And this has a really lovely color. I believe this might be the Palau shell or something like that. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. But it's that like you know, bright bluish um, colored abalone, I believe. So I got those $1.50. Look at these boho fun. I'm going to totally wear these. These are going into my collection and then I'm pricing them up and you guys know <laughs> pricing up and if they sell, they sell. Um, but aren't these fun? They kind of look um, like boho teak wood and they they have the mother of pearl and the abalone geometric they're just so fun do we think that they're vintage hmm i'm not sure but they're really really cool i could totally see these being sold at anthropology for like 85 dollars right if you guys go on anthropology's website it might give you some really great like inspiration of what is very boho in jewelry right now um and also you might <laughs> you might be like oh that is selling for a lot of money <laughs> anthropology's jewelry is like so expensive it's ridiculous so yeah we have that one okay so we have this so the first thing i saw was this um, where you push it down and it opens the cuff. And then it also has a safety chain here. Okay, so it was $5, so $2.50. It's textured with a cross-hatching design. And so not only does it say Monet on the hang tag and the chain is still intact, but it also says Monet 
right there on the inside right there. So if you ever come across bangles that open like this, if you open it, sometimes it will tell you other things um, on this inner metal. And it could also have like a very long, thin metal that could come out. And it might be something like a precious metal, sterling silver, gold, or whatever. Um, so be sure to, sure to check that out. But this one I'm thinking is 1970s. It is lovely. Trifari. It does not have the crown over it. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is 1960s or 70s. Um, it does have a hook in the back and it does seem to be like a choker choker, like between 14 and 16 inches um, of wearable length to it. But definitely a be on the lookout for some good um, gold tone Trifari or Monet seems to be doing really well right now. Okay, so we have these that I picked up for myself. I kind of want to wear them right now. <laughs> so they are like tarnished, but in a really good way, like oxidized. Do you know when you're like roasting marshmallows and you roast off the last bits of the marshmallow and you just have like this oxidized metal or something afterwards that's what it looks like so it's I would say tarnished in a good way to like meet that very boho rustic look bohemian uh, very oversized statement articulated hippie looking earrings so these are really fun okay these this one is missing one rhinestone but again, you guys know I've been repairing jewelry so quick um, because I I harvested a bunch of rhinestones from some jewelry that was broken. And if it has a clear rhinestone, more than likely I have one to fit. And then I looked on the back and I've seen this um, like etched backing before and it wasn't what I thought it was. Let me see. This one says patent pending, and then on the inside it says coral. The other one that I had was something else. So, um, so when I did see this like back, I was like, oh, uh, I can't remember what it was, but I was glad that it was coral as well. So this is like an older coral, in my opinion, like 1940s or 50s, and it looks like they are. You wear them up like this. It kind of looks like a flame or a thistle um but yeah I just have to find one little rhinestone right there otherwise these are in really good shape mm, little bent little bendy bend I have to bend it a little bit so there's those okay both of these are not marked so what were they this was 250 250 so 250 each but um, they just feel like really nice quality, like high quality Trifari or Monet. I've even had some, uh, what is it called, Lon Vaughn um, vintage jewelry, which I've sold before, and it kind of feels like that, um, like heavy, high shine costume jewelry that looks very like gold. So, um, yeah, these are just some geometric torpedoes, <laughs> torpedo drops, um, and not marked, which is really surprising, but still liked those. And then these were also not marked. Okay. So let me just take one off, but again, high quality, high, um, like very designer looking, looks like gold and yeah, not marked at all. So this is like a door knocker where it knocks like this. This top part looks very art deco with the lines. So yeah, I'm not sure, but what did I pay? $125? Okay, let's talk about these 
to, I am not even sure. So I believe these are a Lucite. Okay. So they're not marked at all. I could not find anything in Google Lens for them. If you Google Lens something like this, which I will hold them up for you so you can screenshot and try yourself if you would like to. The only thing that was coming up was Tibetan, carved Tibetan carnelian. That's what was coming up for me. And these are not. These are warm to the touch. They're not carnelian. Carnelian would be a stone, which would be cold to the touch. Glass is also cold to the touch. So I am like, what are these? And they seem like they are a matching set. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be like faux carnelian, like that look. But they look very tribal. Um, statement. And then the Lucite. So if you guys have any information on these, let me know. So I paid $1.50 for each of these. So I mean... $1.50 you really can't go wrong <laughs> unless it doesn't sell in like five years then then maybe maybe I wasted some money but okay then we have this and it has this drop and do you guys remember we learned um in one of our videos I think there's a link to these hang tags different hang tags in our jewelry group, I, I made a link in the file area where I linked different hang tags like this and um, which ones are attributed to which maker. I believe this is Coro, where it looks like corn, basically. I'm pretty sure, because it doesn't say Coro anywhere on here, um, so yeah, I believe this is a coral choker, silver tone textured necklace. So it was $6.50, so $3.25 for that. All right, so that is the jewelry. Let's get into some of the hard goods and other, other pieces. Okay, so this was yellow. All right, I'm so, oh, I should have looked at this closer. <laughs> Because now that I'm looking at it, right, it looks cool from far away, but look at this chair. Look. <laughs> look at the chair. I literally thought that this was the only problem right here. Um, no, it is not. So I believe that these are made in Germany. I've seen a lot of them made in Mexico, but this particular one I believe is German. Um, some of these are more painted. This one has a more neutral tone. I paid $1.50. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it looks like that cannot, that is just, that's the thing. Like when I looked it over, you know, not that great at looking things over yet. Um, I was like, oh, that's a bummer. But then I was like, you know what? It's kind of rustic. It's kind of cute. Put it in my cart. And then what do I know? I'm like he sitting here and I'm like looking at this. Yeah. So that's a problem. Oh, that is wiggly. Okay, so this is a whole hot mess. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with that. Okay, I picked these up. So these were the shoes that I paid full price for. Um, and you guys might notice that the, they don't really have a name. Um, and But then I looked on the bottom. It was $5. And it says right here, if you see leather on the bottom like this, um, and then I had like the zipper detail. I was like, okay, these are something, they look like Python skin. Um, so I looked closer in this one and if you guys can catch the light, you can see I've sold this brand many, 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 many times. So I'm able to know it by its shape. It is Stuart Weitzman. Yay. If you guys don't know, Stuart Weitzman retail, it is very expensive. <laughs> especially Stuart Weitzman boots. If you guys come across Stuart Weitzman tall boots, those can go for a lot of money. Some vintage Stuart Weitzman can sit in your store forever. So don't go run out and buy every Stuart Weitzman thing you find. But I thought that these were still really great in style, right? I definitely have to clean them up. I have to take out these pads, make sure there's no stickiness, but it is all leather lined. So I just use my Clorox wipes, my scrubby Clorox wipes, clean that out. Um, 
and it's leather so you know it's already you know it's not like seeping into a fabric <laughs> any any weird foot stuff is not in the fabric um, and as you can see, it like even though this looks pretty worn, this is actually pretty light for a leather shoe. Um, and then this, I believe, is like a python snakeskin. So yeah, paid five dollars for those. Okay, next let's pull over this. Okay, so we have a belt. I believe this was half off, yes. Ooh, I've sold this belt before, now that I see the buckle. Okay, this is actually the Limited, I believe, yes. So the, the Limited Genuine Italian Leather. It says right there, definitely look for Italian leather. This one was $3, so $1.50, yay. So if you guys know, I love selling leather belts. Um, I do well with those. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying my hand at ties today, and I think I found some pretty cool ones. Okay, these are for Gideon. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a super cute clip at the end of this video of Gideon. He is so cute lately, like he is learning his words later on um, than like a typical, well, a, my children at least, like he's, his birthday is in November where he's gonna be two. Um, but now he's starting to say a lot more and yeah, he's so cute. So ties for Gideon for church. Um, here we go. Here is one. You guys recognize that. YSL, which is Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, like ties in themselves can sit for a bit. But um, this one has that embroidered YSL right here, which I think is a little bit better. Um, because some of the comps that I saw for YSL ties can like range from like $10 to like $100 for like new with tags. Um, but the ones that did better are the ones that have the YSL right here. Obviously it's more modern, like it doesn't have, you know, 80s print or anything. So this is like a navy and yellow, which can be worn in style today easily. It has the YSL right here. So I think I can get... A, I think around $50 for this. There was a comp that just sold for $49.99 for a tie like that. And I paid half of $480. This tie, um, okay, so it looks like we have some kind of, this is not a Pegasus, what is, not a unicorn, I don't know. It looks like horses with wings and some kind of tribal thing, but it is the Metro Metropolitan Museum Museum of Art. And of course, my jewelry loving self, if I found MMA jewelry, I would be like, yay, score, <laughs> because MMA jewelry is very collectible. Um, ties, maybe not so much. But I am going to try it and we'll see what happens. I thought it was definitely more interesting than most ties. So we'll see. We'll see how that one does. All right. The reason I'm not showing you guys that one yet is because I have a set of four and I have to pull them out of my Hulkin bag. All right, let's grab this. Okay. So this one was from Salvation Army where the yellow was also, yeah, I think it was yellow. No, maybe not. Maybe it was blue. Never mind. This I paid $5.99 for. Okay. So what does it say? Packer boy on the sun with family, no, something female, female ye and maid, well, <laughs> female E and male E. I think it says Y E I. This painting um, represent for blessing and healing. And then it says G A Herrera Cuba Navajo tribe. Woohoo! So this is a Nav Navajo art piece. Okay, so here it is. So this, I believe, is called sand art. And I've sold sand art before. 
Now there is, you know, a little bit of, it looks like scratches. I might be able to just go like this and it might be able to warm that sand. Yeah, it's kind of already going away just by me doing this. Cause it looks like it might have been like behind other pieces of art at the thrift store and just scratching against them. So yeah, got this piece of art for, what did I say, $5.99? Yeah, $5.99 for this piece. And kind of how I approach hard goods is I feel like I'm naturally drawn to like artist things and glass and romantic antique things. So I just kind of like follow what interests me. And um, yeah, so this kind of thing interested me with the Navajo um, art. So I grabbed that one. Okay, I just unwrapped these two. Um, this is like an art tile. It was $1.99 and it looks like a mother and her baby. And this one does say something on the back. It says Earth Tones Native Americans. Um, so it looks like it is vintage 1999. I did quick do a um, Google image search and one did pop up uh, that was just like it and I think it was over $20 so I was like okay for $2 I will I will grab that plus I really like it it's so sweet and this one was right next to it not sure what this is but it does what does it say San Juan, what is that? Vir Virgo? Virgio? Vir something. <laughs> something San Juan. Something. All right. This one says Spain on the back, but I'm wondering if the tile or the terracotta or whatever this is made out of was made in Spain and then maybe, I don't know, the art is from Mexico. I'm not sure. So I didn't see anything else online, but for $2, I thought I would see if um, I could figure out anything about that. Okay, so here are the other um, where they are wrapped up in little skirts that I got for Annalise. She's a little bit too small for them, but I could not resist. The okay, this is just too cute right how cute are these little this is a little corduroy one. Oh my gosh i know you guys can't see it that well but yeah right so stinking adorable she's only five but she's like in a six or size six or size seven okay so let's look at these um it looks like we have I, I guess these are not a set of four. It looks like these are green and a little bit taller. And then these are yellow and a little bit shorter. So that's good though that we have a like a pair of each. So these were $3.99 each, but I grabbed them because they have the cartouche, the glass cartouche right in there. So I already know, okay, these are going to be very easy to look up. They are glass pieces, right? And when I did look them up, these are actually Costa Boda, which I've sold Costa Boda before, and Costa Boda is a really nice collectible glass brand. So I have these like green taller ones, and then the yellow ones. So I was very happy to grab these. All right, I'll show you a few more things, and then I will um, record another part to the video more things and then I will probably come back and do a part two with a lot more jewelry, a lot more hard goods, more shoes, <laughs> things like that. All right, here's a couple more pieces. Oh, I love these. Okay, so let's look. <laughs> ah, da, da, da. Okay, so this is glass and this is called fused glass. And from what I know, you know, this is not art assigned or anything like that, but from, from what I know, our fused, you know, glass plates don't go for a ton of money, but who can resist? This is gorgeous. They kind of look like poppies, pink poppies. 
Um, and then it has like this um, irregular edging right here. So it's not a circle. It kind of follows the shape of the flowers. And there is some like goo and stuff I have to clean off. But that is just so pretty. Are you guys like loving this? Oh, all this beautiful glass and art. I love it. Okay. And then this one I also found. Um, and I, there was a lady who came up to me and saw this in my cart. She's like, oh, I love that. And I told her, I was like, you can have it because pff, I probably wouldn't want to ship this to be honest, but I haven't learned my lesson. You know, <laughs> you guys don't know. I'm trying my hand at hard goods, um, because I love, 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 love jewelry and the art that it brings and all that stuff. And you know, some hard goods, some artist things, glass, also feeds the soul in kind of the same way. So we're trying. Um, I, I am pretty okay with shipping breakables. So I haven't learned my lesson on not picking up gigantic things yet like this. <laughs> so yeah, um, I would say this is, I would ship it three pounds priority mail. It would, it would have to be a thin box. And then with things that are very break breakable, you want to do box within a box if it feels like you need to cushion it better. Um, anyways, this one says Little Town of Bethlehem. And then look at all of these. Um, I don't know, white. It looks like a whitewash glaze. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> And then all these like stars imprinted in the background. Uh, that is just lovely. Definitely like a Christmas theme. This is a artist pottery piece. It is marked. Don't know who that is. I got it for $4.99. But I, I just, I can't resist. It is gorgeous. Um, anyways, I forgot to mention, if you guys liked anything from this video and you have to have it, we can make a deal that it will be better than my, um, it will be better than my eBay listed price for sure as like a subscriber di discount. I'll put it up on the screen, but just make sure to email me. If you don't hear from me, try emailing me again or reaching out, you know, saying, Hey, Rachel, I emailed you because sometimes the email will go to my spam folder um, and then yeah, email me, let me know the title of the video you're wanting to purchase something from, let me know the timestamp of the item you would like, and we can discuss. But yeah, so, um, let me know what you thought about all of the things I got, and I have so much more to show you, but I'm going to wrap it up here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite piece is. So jewelry, I'm pretty confident on. Hard goods, not so much. So if you have any feedback or input, let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're not already, if you're not already joined to our Facebook group, it's a jewelry group for learning about jewelry, sharing jewelry, etc. Um, go ahead and hit that link down below in the comments. That is our private Facebook group. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in my next video and be, and make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys.